uh, I can uh, resolve that for anyone that is going into that. I can remove them, the, the attachment, increase the fortress around the being so that they have less to worry about the next time it happened. Also the, the tools to prevent it. I also teach people how to deal with them themselves. I've t made tailor um, methods for each demon um, that I'm dealing with. Uh, besides the other anchorages of what a uh, demon could be, besides, uh, hey, maybe it could be a version of your uh, that that person that is bleeding over from their spirit, like sensate, kind of like another simultaneously existing version of you, or past life, present, whatever is coming up on the dashboard that bleeds over to them, needing remedy, uh, that of a part of them that was overly targeted and then turn into a dark being or a parasitic being and then them stay in that reality and what remedy they can do for that and filtering, cutting cords or preventing them from reconnecting or healing that being if they have that skill set. I do. Um, so they're not a demon anymore. They come back to being a light being. Uh, or if it's like some, because uh, demons can get trapped in the person's body as well as in their DNA lineage or spirit through various scenarios. I can't really blanket term it. It can be many different things of why that happened in causation. You can track it back. If there's like prisons in that person's spirit or things that they're holding that's bleeding over, the quarantine's not up to snuff and it, it affects them this lifetime that needs remedy or things in trap capture scenarios that you can resolve that are building up and making things worse. Um, all kinds of things there could also there's also what the dark cultism gets into where it's connected to the mind and aspects of the mind which is, is kind of true but that goes into the aspects of that we have archetypes to ourselves in our consciousness and that needs to be healed into itself that has a whole mystery school as well as there are demons that are needed on the timeline for whatever reason that are part of a hierarchical order system that's natural to the planet or other planets that are uh, interacting with us, us throughout the system of universes, realms, dimensions, galaxies, timelines, uh, solar system, stars, planets, etc. void space. And some of them, for whatever reason, uh, are more holding up a man's place responsibility and are needed on a timeline and can be healed but can't really be taken out of the reality and there's there's things for that and that some of them are tied to the collective unconscious and that's how they bleed over through archetypes and interesting how that overlays with the body and the technology um and that works also with angelics dragons celestials and other types of things that have a connection to us our dna and our spirits uh, our spirits um in our spiritual entourage. And the various ways that they can get into our reality, such as feeder tubes stealing from a distance or uh, hiding behind your spiritual entourage or uh, false light, false neutral, false uh, dark beings or whatever they are expressing themselves out as or force entanglement through their degrees of separation, uh, dream time scenarios, hauntings, abuse, all kinds of things, uh, drug abuse, uh, uh, things open up uh, negative energetic invisible portals that leak uh, negativity over to you and then overwhelm the senses or other type of anchored scenarios for long periods of time energy harvesting or long chest moves to limit that being from becoming a more powerful uh, expression of what they could be to this equation that we have going on on this planet for what manifests on the timeline and lasts throughout history. So like everyone gets influenced by demons once in a while, especially as we go through life and work and interact with other people that, that and that gets bogged down and we learn how to shield from that over time, whether we like or uh, know it or not, um, our higher self is helping to do that and we can expand upon that. And sometimes they need help from us, especially if we're in a continuedly haunted scenario. You need to uh, alchemize the, that darkness into light. So the method I use in, in a tailored uh, method for each demon that I come across, when I usually uh, remove it from the person 
figure out what they need healing, what was not a whole aspect of them. They might have had a soul spark or dream body or light body stolen and need healing for that, uh, cleaning process, reintegration, repair, and tracking the demon back that did it and beating them up. Expression-wise, I will call, say beating up. I don't really beat them up. I capture them and put them through a scenario. Now, I'll be saying this because I, I want it known um, that I don't do other scenarios that other people do that I don't necessarily agree with. Um, I bring them into a, a state of a, a internal mystery school of a mirror maze of their own unconscious subconscious of who they are, what they've been, what they will be, what their potentials are, uh, what they're afraid of, uh, what's keeping them, what's limiting them, what's influencing them, them learning from all that and raising in vibrational state back to a Goldilocks figured equation in alignment with natural law so that I'm understanding their, their selves as karmic abusers and doing things against other beings and what they've forced into their being by attracting it to it with their actions and then not going past a certain level of bringing them up to a state of evolution of being a light being and not going past a certain point so it's not forced evolution in the violent state of uh against their free will um and once they go through it they like it they know what it is they're mostly afraid of it um because they've been mind controlled to think that it's something else and then they actualize as being a light being and all the equation that's needed to know what to maintain themselves in that make sure they're not just some dick that's like faking it and then going through it and then abusing that afterwards uh that's part of it and then i do this in line with source earth um my higher self and it's very processed and it's continuing to evolve and some scenarios if i I've been pushing it so that I can heal uh, more of them possible. But like also some scenarios are so mind controlled, so gone that like they're either need to leave this universe, gets into another universe. This is the 17th universe, 100% free will in this uh, DNA helix of separate bubble or reality universes. Going down, the 18th was just made. As it's like where all the beings that can't handle the rules of this universe sent there to hash out resolve over time that has a chess move with, re with resolution and then there's also the type that uh, are too far gone and source will see that and then i will send them to the galactic central sun or universal central sun for recycling or the second death or reprogramming uh memory wipe or whatever is needed to learn from their experience um so that it can be prevented from that form of mind control and evil from expressing itself again, um, or being able to be healed the next. So that's what I do. Uh, I also add on to it, and it's very tailored to each individual. Is um, once that being heals itself, it from what it's learned, it can heal other beings. The same scenario will be used to in from its experience in, as being part of the system, system of domination control, learn from being a part of that and then use it against the system and making it worse for them. So that's why I do it because it like makes the game go much faster and they're, while they're resolving themselves, the whole everyone gets resolved faster. And it also goes into how old they are, who they are, what their snares were, how they got to that par parasitic mind state, all, all these things, how much mind control, abuse, and it can all be healed when it's seen like that because these are beings with consciousness. I also go into uh, coping mechanisms for people on how to keep their sovereign states at a high state as well as protecting their life force, reclaiming and scaling that for um, all their life force stolen this life, their other lives. I also go into healing every interaction they have with a demon on their timeline. Um, so things that don't need to happen don't happen they're protected they're um resolved with that interaction 
anything that's stolen comes back. Um, and also protecting all their other timelines because sometimes it bleeds over like, oh, I got this past life that's covered in demons and somehow it's connecting to me. Like you could you could uh, fortress that, heal it, quarantine it, and then resolve that time I do that. Um, and sometimes I even resolve their, if, if they want it, their entire timeline of selves that and their interactions in one, two, three plus degrees of separation with demons. So there's almost no back doors in that regard. Uh, and then that belief in like some type of influence that bogs the person down this life. Self-defeating programs, things that limit you to 1% of your efficiency and abilities, all kinds of stuff. These are symptoms of this as well. It's always supposed to be subtle, like usually hiding behind something. I also do depossession. Um, most people I know that do that go into the, the Jesus Christ and teaching of that, which that being is um, holding space for and resolution for those that don't fully know how to do it, but know the system that has been passed down for that, which works. But I also, I do it myself by go, using my internal power and that also being as also uh, teaching others through a, um, energetic mystery school how to do it themselves. Um, of quarantine or forcing the being out of you, uh, capturing it, making it worse for them for like even attempting that because there's like varying chess moves forward and backward in time and also going into the future change that being for the point of even wanting to take over that being's body. I also do uh, de-haunting on objects, sacred objects, uh, old, uh, whatever. Um, how I de-haunt houses, sacred land, um, take care, um, resolve ancestral hauntings, getting them in alignment with their spiritual entourage, auditing, helping with suicide programs, which can go also hand in hand with demons and the cutting. Um, helping clear out healing all types of stuff as well as everyone else working at uh, silver cord spiritual science they will usually know these skill sets and can help uh you with your uh problems and we'll find a solution especially as we know that you as the individual and the problem that you're going through um also dealing with collectives of the uh collective unconscious and natural and what is un unnatural states of hierarchy of darkness light etc in the demon aspect of our reality which also goes into angelics uh and how, the how they're light dark and neutral fallen false lights all these different types of angels same thing with demons though like for right now i'll mainly use it for describing the negative beings that you don't really want to associate with and you can s categorize them if they fall out of that category because they're not like a demon can heal itself and become not a demon anymore it's interesting so like what do you call it at that point i i don't usually call them a demon if they've healed themselves uh successfully and are making sure they're not uh, underestimating the darkness and looking uh through the ego for all points to not underestimate but still have that confidence that they can overcome adversity and reclaim their free will and sovereignty and own themselves and make sure that they're owning themselves and not just saying that they do and proving it. They can also very much screw with the dreams, the other aspects of our multi-dimensional selves and just make reality worse. So when we release them, we get our energy back. We feel better. We can do more. Uh, we can act better in the reality and put our manifestations of what we want to become, what we want our rally be into faster and faster actualization uh, with less and less self-defeating programs, less holding us back, less gatekeepers, less influencers, less things causing drama in reality and then having mechanisms for all that, no matter what degree of target individual you are, you can resolve it. You're at uh, Silver Cord, spiritual science uh, on YouTube as well as silvercordss.com. We are also on Facebook. Uh, you can get a hold of us, contact my assistant, Mary, uh, if you want to get a hold of me or uh, our other very 
experienced employees uh, at M-O-K-O-R-N at hotmail.com. Thank you for uh, helping this be possible and please like share and subscribe uh the more the more popular these videos become the more i will make uh the more information i'll give away for free um uh, fine with that um and we can make this planet a better place by healing ourselves then we can heal everyone around us and it kind of like all bleeds over so yay uh so thank you again uh let me know if uh, you need some kind of type of scenario like this resolving. We can do that. We can resolve it here at uh, Silver Cord Spiritual Science uh, on YouTube as well as SilverCordSS.com. We are also on Facebook. Uh, you can get a hold of us. Contact my assistant Mary uh, if you want to get a hold of me or uh, or other very experienced employees uh, at M-O-K-O-R-N at hotmail.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, the more the more popular these videos become, the more I will make, uh, the more information I'll give away for free.